Boom Pal Zap, I'm back. And uh, I know I heard you, I, I know you've heard me trashing these little Arlo first generation cameras. However, I may have something that may rejuvenate them if you went out and bought them prior to seeing my review. Or if uh, you've had them from a long time ago and just upgraded. The good thing is these are compatible with all the new um, hubs or the new uh, uh, bases that they have. So you can load them onto it and they'll still work. So if you have less than five cameras on a regular subscription, you can add one of these and stick it somewhere. As long as you have enough room to hook, plug it into a wall somewhere close by. This will eliminate these garbage rechargeable batteries. It will eliminate having to buy the CR-123 or batteries, which if you can find them, I mean, you can probably find them on Amazon for a buck a piece. But still, I mean, you go through, you know, four of them every week or every uh, four weeks, depending on where you have it. It gets expensive. I mean, they, they do work well with them. However, if you have it somewhere where it's activated a lot, it's going to eat up the batteries quickly. So here's what we do. This little thing is purchased on um, Amazon. It's a little plug. It goes inside the battery compartment and it plugs into an area right here but you have to take off the little cover and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. I found this adapter on Amazon. Um, I, I pretty much typed in replace CR123 and Arlo and this is what I found. It, um, it comes with this, you know, this picture here. You got to make sure it has the right adapter to it. The choices I had were the 6.6 .6 foot or 26 foot for four dollars more. So I picked this the 26 foot just for and make sure I could have enough uh, length to my uh, my power receptacle. And you want to make sure it has the proper adapter for it. So you want to look at for something like this in the picture, and I'll show you how it how it hooks up to your camera because in the first generation Arlo's there's no outside charging port for it so it has to go through the uh, battery compartment and has to have this little thin strip here to fit in between the, the power door or the the, uh, the battery compartment door hidden away on these Arlo cameras these uh, first generation Arlo cameras is a little teeny tiny port it is not labeled, it's not in any of the instructions, but you're gonna to have to get this open in order to put this plug to replace the batteries. I believe they give you a tool with it. Let me see if I can find it. I can't find the little thing they gave me to go with it, so I'm just using a pair of tweezers. You see that there's a plug on here that covers up the port. Just uh, Remove that with a pair of tweezers or anything else you can figure out to do it with. Then you just plug this in. Make sure I got it going the right way. It sucks being blind. And that's weird. Plugs in kind of opposite from the way the. <laughs> I guess you can do it backwards like this. But it plugs in kind of opposite the way the cord comes out of this, or the uh, adapter part comes out of the cord. It's supposed to slip underneath the door. And it does leave a little bit of a space, but it's supposed to power the camera. So we'll see how that works. Just a couple minutes here. A little kit comes with, um, oh, there it is right there. All right, use that right there, that little metal thing, to remove the plug for the door. These little pieces hold the wiring to a wall to get it out of the way. See if you have to line, run it against the ceiling and then down to a plug somewhere, and then they give you a uh, power block. 
As you can see, I have this hooked up to my uh, uh, Arlo Ultra base, which gives you a year subscription to their service and up to 10 cameras. I have uh, seven cameras right now, but I'm gonna order, if this works out, I'm gonna order more of these cords, hook up my old Arlo Generation 1 HDs to it, and max it out with 10 cameras and stick them all over the place. But uh, let me, this died, the batteries died in this four days ago, so we will uh, plug it in and see how it works. I've hooked it up on my back porch. Um, I did not use the little sticky things because it's, you know, it doesn't have to look good. I'm just testing out right now. I'm going to plug it in and hopefully it will, I mean, this, this cord is really long. It's 25 or 26 foot cord. It can reach all over the place. So I'm going to plug it in over here. Hopefully we'll get it going real shortly. All right, got it plugged in. That's something that goes to my uh, Venus fly traps, and it's plugged in over here, which I could plug it in it right to the wall outlet, but I need that multi plug for other things. So let's go in and check the status of the camera. And it looks like it's no longer disabled. It's connecting to a live feed right now. There you go. Let's make it bigger. Uh, it says it's still connecting. Let's see. That's the live feed for it. So, without batteries, sucker's working. Extra camera for the useless ones. Don't have to buy batteries for it. Only thing is, it's no longer wireless. You have to have an outlet somewhere close to it. Boom Pals out. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. This may be able to help you rejuvenate your old HD Generation 1 Arlo cameras that everybody was about to throw out.